This puzzle is a request from Sabaya, and I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but he requested that I solve this puzzle so that he can see how it can be solved. Um, this puzzle was printed using an Excel spreadsheet that's available on sudokuprimer.com. You just fill out, put in the, the givens on the spreadsheet and then you can print it. You can find that on sudokuprimer.com in the free blank Sudoku grids section. There's an Excel spreadsheet and a bunch of other formatted um, blank Sudoku grids out there that you can that you can download for free. This is a tough puzzle, but we are able to get through it using some advanced techniques. Now before we get started, I wanted to point out that there's a new section in sudokuprimer.com where you can create your own Wordoku puzzles, your own personal Wordoku puzzles. I have an example here that I'll show you. This was a puzzle that was um, generated on this uh, on the Sudoku Primer website. It has the word awestruck or all the letter, the nine letters in the word awestruck in it. And here are a bunch of other nine letter words that you can use or you can come up with your own nine letter phrase um, and then generate a puzzle from that. Uh, the characters in this puzzle are scrambled or the, they're scrambled at the top here because this also has a secret message or you can have the word or phrase show up on a particular line if you want to and you decide how you want to do that. Um, this one happens to have awestruck here in row four. I'll show you the solution here in just a minute. But uh, you you just decide what phrase you want to use you um, or what what nine letter word. You type that in and um, answer a couple of questions and click the create button and you get your own uh, Sudoku puzzle. Here's the solution to this puzzle other side here and you can see awestruck is on line on row four right there now you can choose whether you want to have the word or phrase on a specific row or not it's up to you you can just do it however you want just go to sudokuprimer.com and see the new uh, section on uh, creating your own word okus all right, well, let's get started on this puzzle. I'm going to fill in some easy numbers here first. And as I mentioned quite often, um, if you're not sure how I place, why I placed a certain number, or if you have any questions about this puzzle, please um, leave a comment and I'll answer, try and answer your question. Now, let me point out this bottom section here. We have a couple of walls, uh, a wall pattern here and a wall pattern here, and you can learn about patterns on sudokuprimer.com. But because of this wall here and this wall here, we know that this is 1, 6, 7, and these are 1, 6, and 7. Okay. Let me just put this three right there and uh, I'm going to put a nine right here. Now that one was pretty easy to see because we have one six seven here, one six seven here, and one six seven here because of this wall and therefore this can only be a nine. Another thing I want to point out here is because this is one six seven here we've got one six 167167 1675425425542 so we can fill in that 5 there and we also have 389 389 389 so remember that as we go along okay. okay we can also put in this 7 here because we know these are 1 6 and 7 we've got a 7 here go 7s 
right there, a 7 there, and we know that one of these is a 7 in this in this box because of the 167 triplets we found. Right. Um, so we know that's a 7 there. Now let's see, we've got a, a 5 here, a 5 here, and a 5 here, so that's a 5 right there. Okay. Now let me point out something here. If we look at this cell right here, we've got, and let's see what what letters or what numbers we can see from this cell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can only not see six or seven, six and seven. Okay. And you remember we have one, six, seven triplets here and there's a one there. So we know this is also a six or seven. So we have six, seven twins here. Keep that in mind. We're gonna use that in just a minute. All right, now at this point, this puzzle's going to start getting a little bit tricky. Uh, let me point out also that we have two and three here and two and three here. So these are two, three twins. So we found six, seven twins and two, three twins. Okay. And because of these two, three twins here, we've got a hidden T pattern. Uh, you can find the T pattern on SudokuPrimer.com plus a write-up about hidden patterns. Uh, because of this hidden T pattern, we know that one of these is a 9. And what do we have down here? We have 3, 8, and 9. We've got a 3 there and ghost 9's here, so we know that's an 8. Alright, and let's look at this cell right here. Well, uh, first of all, let's fill in this other 8 we've got. We've also got ghost eights here, and an eight here, so eight eight. So we know that's an eight right there. Okay, let's look at this cell right here and see what numbers it can see already. One, two, three, four, five, six. It can't see a six, seven, eight, and nine. It can't see six or nine, but wait, we've got ghost nines right here. If you remember that. Two, three twins and the T pattern, hidden T pattern here. Got ghost nines right here, so we know that is a six. All right, now what are we missing here? We're missing one, two, seven, and nine. Two, seven, and nine. Well, let's see. We've got two, seven, nine but we've got a seven here and remember the six, six seven twins we found here we know that um, that can't be a seven because of the because of those twins so we know that's a seven right there now we're only missing a two and a nine there all right row two is almost completed we're only missing two and nine there's a two there so we can finish that one And now what are we missing here? We're missing nine, one, and eight. We got a nine there, nine there, so that's a nine. And therefore we can solve the two nine twins that we found and fill in the one and eight here because of that eight there. Okay. All right. We've also got a what are we missing here? We're missing one, two, and three. Got twos there in those two columns already. So that's a two. All right, now we're missing six, seven, six and seven there that we can solve that row. know this is a 4. And the reason I know that's a 4 is because we have 6, 7, and 8 in this box already and 6, 7, and 8 in this box already. So we know these are 6, 7, 8 triplets. So I saw that before I put that 4 in and 
therefore I knew that, that was a 4. And since we have a 7 and 8 here, we know that's a 6. Okay. Now with that, we can find a couple more 4s here. There's a 4 there. There's a 4 there. Now let's go remember our two three twins that we found. We've got a two there already, so we can fill those in. All right. Now let's see. We've got a two here and a two there, so that's a two. And we know these are seven and eight, and so these are one and five, so we can solve them. Now in box 9 we have a 1 and a 6 here. Remember our triplets 167, 167, 167. We can solve those now because we put in a 6 there. With that 6 we can put in a 6 right here. All right. Now we're missing a 3 and a 9 in this bottom row that we can solve. Let's see. We've got seven and eight here. Let's look at this column right here. One, two, three, six, seven, three, eight, and nine. We're missing three, eight, and nine here. We've got a three and a nine there. So we know that's an 8. The 3 and 9 we can't solve yet. Uh, with that 8 we can solve the 7 and 8 twins we had in box 5. All right. All right. Now let's see. What are we missing here? We're missing 1, 2, 3, 7, 9. 3, 7, 9 there. There's a 7 and a 9, so we can put in a 3 right there. There's a 7 and a 7, so we can put in a 7 there. We know that's a 9 because of the T pattern that we found earlier. And we knew these were ghost 9s. Now we can put a 9 there. missing a 1 and a 5 in this column here. There's a 5 there, so we can finish those. All right, now we're missing 1 and 6 there. And we're missing 6 and 7 here. Remember our 6, 7 twins there. We can finish those. And uh, Here we're missing two, five, two and five. I got an eight here and an eight here, so here here we're missing three, eight, and nine because we have three, eight, nine here, three, eight, nine here. Yeah, so that's an eight and a three and a nine. Missing one and three here, one and three here. There's a three there, so we can solve solve those. Now we're missing only one number here. Five, and that's it. We're done. All right. Well, it was a kind of a, a fairly tough puzzle. Uh, these walls down here helped us see that we had quite a um, series of, of walls that we could use. Uh, um, we found the 167s, the 389s, and the 245s. And that helped us. These twins helped us find the ghost nines here, which helped us find the 8 and the 6. 
and that helped us get going on this area. So using a few advanced techniques we were able to solve this pretty easily. Uh, remember to uh, go to sudokuprimer.com uh, if you want to find some free blank Sudoku grids. You can also go there to see the new section, a new feature where you can create your own Wordoku puzzles and you can learn about techniques and patterns and all kinds of Sudoku stuff out there on sudokuprimer.com. Well thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.